we got one. <laughs> I didn't even make a video this morning. I'll have to, have to do it at the trailhead. I'm getting a hitch on a land. Uh. Yeah, this time, yeah. It's me and Tide Quest. We got a hitch. Tide Leg and Syrup got a different hitch. Our hitch accidentally drove 0.6 away from where we're gonna get dropped off, so we're doing a bonus 0.6 on top of the 120 that we're gonna try to bang out in one push. Now we gotta cross this fence. Yeah, we gotta cross the fence somehow and find some road that connects to the trail. Yeah, so our next section is Lander to Rollins. We're walking through a big, big old basin very different from what we just came out of but uh this is a 120 mile stretch and we are gonna try to do it in one push <laughs> do like a little ultra marathon challenge and just walk until we can't walk anymore it's probably not the smartest decision but we've been talking about it for so long we're gonna have to at least try so, our official start time for this, what'd you say, 10.58? Yeah. 10.58 on August, Monday, August 26th. So we will see how many hours, well, no, wait, do we want to start the official All start right, time? official now? time when we get there. Yeah, when we get there, okay. So it's gonna be like 11 something. We're gonna see how many hours it takes us to walk 120 miles officially starts we walk past this gate but okay I don't think this is gonna be <laughs> is it gonna be another one of these gates that we can't uh, can't close okay all right all right what time is it 1103 120 miles to go let's get it Desert. This is our before video. <laughs> Feeling so kind of good. <laughs> Not right. even. Our first stop on this 120 mile journey is South Pass City, Wyoming. This is the whole town. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Burp! <laughs> <Come down. down. laughs> they don't want us to come into town, but there's our marker. Why they do that? Bob wire! Bob wire. EOB. This is like an old little ghost town thingy. Old abandoned things. Apparently, there's like a city center here and they give you free root beer. So, we're. Well, there's root beer there and snacks. So. We are gonna go investigate that. I guess there was gold here at one point. 80 million years ago, I'm sure. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we have made it to South Pass City. This is really cute. Wow. Wow. Ooh, it's a good place to van camp. This is the museum, the ghost town museum, that I believe might have the root beer and the ice cream. Because we've been away from town for a whole maybe hour. How are you? No, it's all good. We're just passing through. Yes. Got a root beer. Mm, a I good could. root beer. Put a Klondike bar into my. Wow. <laughs> I I put the root beer back because there's birch beer here. I had my first birch beer on the Appalachian Trail, actually. Ah, no! Gum it. Not too bad. When you get into South Pass City. There is like a little visitor center that you can go to and you pay $8 to walk through like the old gold mining town. But the trail goes through that. So 
we don't have to pay for it. So we are gonna, we're about to go walk and like look at all the historical stuff. We're eating a snack. And we made it three miles so far. This is Tibble's cabin. Yeah. Yeah, you two quit being antsy. We're gonna look. We're antsy. gonna look at this ghost town. Yeah, seriously. Like, we're talking just for eight hours. hours. No, you're not. You're halfway making jokes, halfway serious. Oh, this is the kitchen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Reagan. Yeah, just like Look, they have like <laughs> the open eggshells in there and everything. Fake pancakes. That's funny. As if they're eating pancakes. Yeah. Like I mean, maybe. Oh, I love old things like this. Hi. the name Nine Lives. Um, I almost died on the. Hi. It's a full bar in here. Back in the day. <laughs> we better. This is the store. Wait, you guys need to go across the street. Oh, there's wine on the table. Oh, no, that's whiskey. Oh, this is a barbershop. Everything is in the same spot that it always used to be. They've just, like, the state of Wyoming bought this and restored all the buildings. So it's actually pretty cool. This is exactly how the town used to be. Post office. We gave quinine to our soldiers. Yeah, it causes suicidal tendencies. Looks like that. Whoa, there's an upstairs. Can you go up? Oh, go up Whoa. This is so cool. Yeah, just beds. What's back there? Five more rooms. It's so tiny, like. Yeah. Oh, that's like their little chamber pot. Like where they like a sink. Oh yeah, that's where they like wash their hands. Yeah. There should be a pot where they should too. There's one in this one. Yeah, this would be my room. <laughs> yeah. There's I think stove. that's the bathroom. Maybe. My grandma has one. There's a lot of stuff closed off. I think I see the trail. Okay, well that was a fun little surprise. Thank you South Pass City and back to this 120 mile challenge. Uh, I'm scared. Yeah, walk away. <laughs> so most of the basin is gonna be like two track dirt road hiking. It's just through like this sagebrush type field. Yeah, that's basically what we got for the next 120 miles. I don't know where I look up and there's somebody living up here. Yeah, but like how? We're taking our, well, I guess it's technically our second break because we took our first break at South Pass City. We've done, does anybody know how many miles we've no, done? No, I don't. Probably close to, probably, probably close to 20. Taking mm. a lunch break at 440. <laughs> yeah, feel good so far. How do you feel? Okay, a little on the legs. It's just because he's old. <laughs> How do you feel, Peg Leg? I feel good. Good. Time will come. <laughs> Alright, first snack break. Doing an Uncrustable, 300 calories. Some Lay's. Some Twizzlers. Probably some cheese. And some meat thins. This cheese is amazing. I was gambling with it, but it, it turned out to be really good. It's 5.20 p.m. We have 103 miles to go. We're almost there. There's really just nothing out here. 
here it's all flat. There's stuff over there. Yeah. It's the base. Oh, he's big. <laughs> Dang, he's fast. Whoa. <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs> All right, update. We're officially, I think we're close to 25 miles. So we are under triple digits to town and we only have to do 20 miles five more times. Less than that now, because we're like at 20. So yeah, that's the update. Feeling good. Temperature is perfect. There's a little bit of a breeze. It is 6.51, sun is kind of starting to go down um, and we're still on dirt road and moving pretty good we're probably like right around three miles per hour pace right now um, last stretch we did like 15 miles without a break we're not gonna do that again um, but I think there's gonna be water up here soon so we may take a break there for like 20 or so minutes and keep on trucking We found syrup who's not doing the 24 hour challenge or 120 mile challenge with us. He's, he's doing regular hiking things, but he's a little ahead of us. He started earlier. Here's our, here's our water source. Well, the Karen for the water source. And then there's water there. And then us. <laughs> It ate my leg, so that's just great. I love that for me. Really pretty sunset. It's so pink. All right, we have gone 32 miles, I think. And we are stopping to eat dinner with Syrup, who's gonna camp, cowboy camp here. Uh. And we're gonna continue going. It's really cold. It's actually weird. There's like patches of warm, <coughs> but then it gets really, really cold. Yeah. How's everyone feeling? Mm, Everything awesome. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you? I actually feel really good. No, I'm excited to see you food. Heck yeah. How do you feel, Sarah? I'm killing it. Yeah. yeah. We ball so hard. <laughs> we ball so hard. I feel great yeah. too. Um, yeah. We only have like 80 something miles left. That's nothing. It's so cold. I'm hiking in my Senshi pants, my Senshi mid layer, and my puffy layer. It's probably like 40 something, low 40 degrees outside. That is the moon. It is so crazy looking. But we are laying here and looking at the sky, talking about our problems. <laughs> there are coyotes barking at us. Let's bark back. Roo! 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 <laughs> oh man. We bark back. <laughs> Alright, supposedly. Supposedly there's a water cache. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. So he's bear spray. Empty. Wow. That's a little more. Yeah. 
Oh, it's like a hissy baby. Logbook. Last time I read a novel. Oh, Ooh, look. What is that? It's a comics. Do you love? Oh. Sweet, oh, it's all just, just, just you, you for all of us. No, I don't. All right, we are. We are 42, 43 miles in. It is 2 a.m. <coughs> we just got to this water cache. And that's all I know in life right now. We only have to do 20 miles four more times. Well, really like three less than three. Um, right? Yeah, Michigan. Tripod mission, yeah, there he is. Giggles. Where's Giggles? Oh, yeah, right there. What day? It's 16th. We're just so 10, days. 10 days ahead. Yeah. Sure. Pull. It's easy. Mm -hmm. You can't help yourself. Oh, just. These dog treats. Lord. Shoes. Yeah. We're crazy. Where else would I be at 2 04 a.m.? Take intense. <sighs> oh, Action. Oh, that's right. Action. <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> Ready, set, blind. All right, go. I feel great. Walk. Ready, set, it's time to line. walk again. Go <laughs> that way. What'd you, you say? I'm gonna lead from behind and you go. I'm picking music out. <sighs> yeah, I need a banging playlist for this this next stretch. I've been doing quite well so far. I've just been doing shuffle and it's been okay. It is five almost five thirty. And we just took like a 50 minute long break, like a tiny little bit of a nap, and we go to the bathroom. And it's so cold. Um, we've gone almost 50 miles so far. And that's all I know. So creepy. No, I think that's a guy. Anyway, we've gone, what do we say, 53, 52 miles. Yeah. It is 6.55 a.m. I just slept walk. I was like in and out of sleep for the past hour and a half. I'm finally back alive, but that was really hard. I tried to take a little bit of a nap, but then my stomach started acting up, so I had to go take care of that. And then it was really cold. And then I don't even know. We peg started. Leg peg leg left us. <laughs> we were sleeping, and then we left at five twenty. And I wouldn't say we were sleeping. Well, we were just laying there <laughs> shivering. Yeah. <laughs> we're basically. Anyway, shivering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The sun came up, and. I don't even know anymore. I, like, I really just don't even know how, what words. I remember I was gonna say, we successfully made it through night one. We just have to figure out how to make it through tonight as well, and the rest of the day. Feeling pretty good right now. 
We're trying to take breaks every two hours. So we're about to hit that. We'll probably take a break right here because it's in the sun. We're gonna eat some breakfast. Um, water has been a whole thing. We've been carrying water because the sources are either dry or they're just like cow poop water, essentially. So I think this was like a 17 mile carry. I don't know what our next one is, but yeah, water situation sucks, which is uh, always the cherry on top of everything else that goes on right here. But it's all good. I haven't been drinking much water, which is probably not a good thing. I'm gonna fix that with this next bag and drink water. For breakfast, I'm gonna have Olenny and Larry's cookie and a breakfast essentials. Yeah, we dying. Water finally! Yay! I mean, would you guys drink this water? I mean, ignore the cow poop, like, right next to it, but... It looks pretty good to me! I can see the bottom! What? I drank way worse. Alright, so... Through the basin is just a bunch of dirt roads. There are literally so many. So you kind of have to be paying attention to far out to know what direction to go when one veers off. Sometimes they veer off the road and there's a tiny little bit of trail connecting you to the next dirt road. Anyway, we got off trail and we were like, oh crap. Well, peg leg and side quest decided to like go up the hill but to me that looked more difficult so i just backtracked like 0.3 got back on trail real quick and then cruised up ahead and i thought they were like oh i see them yeah all right i thought they like may have beat me because i saw the hill i was like well if they got over right there then they're in front of me but then I got to this wide open area and I was like, oh crap, they're not in front of me. But I just turned around and they're behind me. So, all right. Yeah, lost them for a second, but they're back. <laughs> We're all delirious. So it's like nothing is easy. And update, we've gone 57 miles so far. Straight. So we're we are three miles from being halfway through. That's freaking exciting. I'm amped. There for a second this morning when I was sleepwalking, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. But now I'm like, yeah, I got this in the bag. But I know there's more tough times ahead. And this is why I do stuff like this. Is there's a book that I've been reading on Audible. I can't remember. The Comfort Crisis is what it's called. And they talk about Mus Muskogee's in there. Mus Muskogee is like finding something that you're like scared of doing. Like you really don't know if you can actually do it. And then try to do it. And through that process, you discover new things about yourself. You become stronger and you get to see if you can do it. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. This is my Muskogee, 120 miles, not stopping through the basin. But I got a good crew and uh, we're, we're staying strong. So I think I might stop and wait for them. Hey, cow. What's his deal? Meow. All right, we're taking a break. Um, next to this cow poop water. Yeah, like I don't. Know. I gotta eat something. Um, side quest stopped to take a poop, so we're gonna wait for him to catch up. And I'm just kind of sore, so a break, 
a break that a break it will be. I have service, so that's cool. Just call my mom. Put on Instagram. Blah blah blah. We're gonna do an uncrossable. Some legs for weekends. They are. They're little white butts. Where? Little antelope guys. Just anteloping around. They're chasing each other. They're so cute. Antelope. Or deer, They're doing antelope. Can you get a video of that while you're over there? Oh my god. <laughs> you just want a little, little video? Hello. Took a break out the water back there. It's like 100 degrees out here. Peg leg left us again. <laughs> Tried to take a nap, didn't work. Uh, stomach is still messed up big time. So I'm probably really dehydrated. Oh, but we continue. And now the trail is like. This stupid soft sand crap. It's really hard to walk in. So everything's going great, basically. In other words, having the time of my life out here. And I love everything. Got like 65 miles done. We need to get some miles done here soon. It's like six miles from the last water to the next water, so I'm just gonna try to make it there. All right, we just did the six miles. From the last water to this spring up here that I'm about to get some water from. We are almost to 70 miles, which means we have 50 left, which sounds pretty nice. So, whew, I'm tired. I'm, uh, struggling well I'm not struggling as bad I was struggling really bad at the last water and then when we left and then I uh, got my mind right it's uh, just a mental game right now it's all mental so calf is still bothering me a little bit but I'll be fine look at my up look at I'm so sad. I was looking forward to eating these donuts and they're so destroyed. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you do today is so gross. <laughs> sand road we're walking in. It's awful. It's like really deep sand. Super hard to walk in. It just sucks. Well, probably sucks because we've officially hiked over 70 miles. I've been up for like 36. And yeah, I mean everything just kind of sucks at this point. Sand, stupid crap, not making it any better. And we have like 50 something miles to go. The sun's going down, it's getting cooler, so that's good. Does everybody still feel like they're gonna be recovered from this from one zero? I mean, maybe Nero zero, yeah, definitely. Well, it might not be much of a Nero. Um, the miles are gonna be big, but we're gonna have like most of the day to rest. 
I'm just a camera. How do you Sorry. guys feel? Just say dinner, night two. It's we're about seven to... o'clock and we still have 43 miles left. <laughs> <laughs> that about sums yeah. it up. Surprisingly, not tired, but achy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm full. They're not tired. I'm tired, not achy. I'll be tired. But. Don't worry. Yeah, we just ate dinner. I think we're on this road for the next 26 miles or something like that. And then we get on another road that's hopefully paved and easy. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm so tired. But we're going to do it, dang it. <laughs> that is really, really pretty. Why are we always walking away from the sunset? We did this yesterday, too. That's where we're going. Oh my gosh. Off into the sunset. That's a good video. How mystical. <laughs> he ain't moving. <laughs> May we pass, sir, uh, or ma'am? Excuse me, madam. Oh, she's squaring you up. Oh, okay. He. <laughs> My goal nutritionally tonight is to eat something every single hour. Water. Oh, there's a seat. What's all in there? Oh. It's cold, we're tired, it's 2 a.m. There's water over here, but we can't find the tank. Oh. Where we're hanging out, there's a cow poop everywhere. <laughs> Where uh, there's this like cow, there's a spigot and a solar panel, and this is the last water on trail until basically we get to town. Uh, it's 2 a.m. now, not sure. We might take like a power nap and hike out. Um, Later, -ish. huh? Does it work? Yeah. I don't know yet, but we gotta get out of here because it's really freaking cold by this water. So, yeah. From 2 a.m. to about 4:30 a.m. is when things started getting really weird. We all started to hallucinate and things were moving that weren't actually moving. Good morning, or continuation of my 48 hour day. Officially been up for 48 hours. Um, SideQuest and I took a one and a half hour break. And it helped, I think, some, for something. We were, things were starting to move that weren't moving. So, it, it started getting weird. So, anyway, it's still kind of weird. But we only have 20 miles. We've done 100 miles. We've done 100 freaking miles. We only have 20 left till Taco Bell. And that's all I got. We oh, we finally have a paved road to walk on. The trail last night was awful. Thick sand, um, rock, 
uneven, just not good. So I'm gonna cruise this out, get to town, and, and then die. Turned out the payment we were excited for was the hardest part yet. It hurt extremely bad on all of our joints, and the last 20 miles we had to take a break about every four miles. Alright, we just took our last break. We've been breaking every four miles because everything hurts. <laughs> Peg legs in town already. Yeah, we'll get there. Eventually. <sighs> the last 12 miles were really hard, physically and mentally, but I just tried to remind myself that I only had 12 miles left of this incredible journey and that I should enjoy it because soon I will be in town, back comfortable again. So, might as well enjoy the last few moments of suffering we finally made it oh. we have successfully walked 120 miles in 50 what 57 hours 58 hours math 54 54 hours and two minutes Oh, it would have been way shorter, but we took a lot of breaks, but who cares? Who's, we are not. We're just trying to do it. So, yeah, we are We're walking into Rollins, but... And, uh... Words are hard. What am I going to say? Oh, we're going straight to Taco Bell. All the choices. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh, Gatorade for sure. <laughs> oh, get us to the room. Oh, finally. It has all come to an end, right? Yeah, it's all over now. We got Taco you're, Bell. You're completely fine. Uh, yeah, you no, promise. Nothing hurts at all. That's gonna start to heat up. Uh, cheesy potatoes. I got a grilled cheese burrito. Um, two spicy potato tacos. Uh, crunch wrap supreme. A. Did they not give me my veggie fries? What the heck? I have it. I got a chicken quesadilla. It's nice as it's right next door. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna. days post 120 mile challenge after i ate all that taco bell i passed out woke up ate more food passed out again was really really sore after finishing like my entire pelvis hurt is mostly like my hips that were really tight but now two days later i feel great i'm ready to hike again we are gonna hike out tomorrow we took a double zero to let everything fully heal up but yeah that was probably one of the hardest things i've ever done it was so fun i got a lot of questions asking why honestly if i have to explain why you're probably not ever gonna understand anyway but we had been talking about this challenge since the beginning of the trail and it was something that kind of scared me and I think it's important in life to do things that scare you and to just have that curiosity like can I do that and then have the courage to try and see if you can. Throughout this journey I was able to push myself past limits that I'd never had before. I was able to find strength when there was no strength left. I was able to keep putting one foot in front of the other when I didn't know if I could. Powerful stuff. I feel a lot stronger after doing this and definitely not the last time that I would like to embark on an adventure like this. So maybe there's some longer ultra marathons in my future, but 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This is probably one of my favorite videos of all time. One of my favorite things I've ever done on trail. I want to give a huge shout out to Pegleg and SideQuest. I couldn't have done it without them. Uh, both of them are so strong and they make me stronger. And it's cool to be surrounded by people who push you to be better. And they're both amazing hikers. And I um, just am really honored to be able to hike with them and share this experience. We'll, we'll never forget this. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Thank you guys so much for watching. And see you uh, on the next one.